Hello, everybody. This is Pahamar. This is... Hey, Pahamar. How are you? I'm good. Who are you? I suppose this is Direwolf 20. Well, suppose this is Direwolf 20. This is episode 12 of our series of Crash Landing. Oh, why did we crash on this terrible planet with the heat and the water and the food and the bad things and such? Because you gave me an orange crush. Dude, I mean, what what do you want from me? You know, you said you were good. You said you were good. Well, I just can't handle myself. I get so excited. I know, you do. You're terrible. Uh, hey, I'm working on some assembly line machines, but unfortunately I have bad news, Mr. Vahimar. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Um, well, I'm looking at sick, the technological... Sick, no, I'm not sick. We have a machine, a quest we can hand in, by the way, the MFR Basics machine. I, I made these items because they were easy to make off-camera. So feel free to hand that in. So that's oh, good news, I already though, I guess. Handed it in, handed it in. Okay, you already handed it off camera. Cool. I did. I see I how did. it is. I see how it is. Yep. Um, you were so about circuit boards, and I was all like, "Oh, there's a circuit board." Yeah. So um, I want to make an assembly line because everything from thermal expansion and pneumatic craft that's really cool requires these printed circuit boards. Um, so in order to get them, there's really two ways to do it. There's the long and painful process, or there's the fast process. And the fast process is the assembly line from Pneumaticraft. So I'd like to build an assembly line. Um, the good news is that we got a couple of the items that we need for the assembly line from your, or maybe our, I think we got it when we were both there, uh, adventures in the abandoned city, didn't we? Oh, that city's scary. It is. I know. I'm fully aware. Um, so that's the good news. The bad news is that there's a quest for it, and it's a crafting quest. So even though we already have these items and you don't need more than one, in order to complete the quest, we do need to actually craft these items. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. It does. It really does. Um, and the really bad news is that in order for the machine to be even useful, we either need eight emeralds and a piece of rose red, or we need to hand in the quest, which requires the things. Um, so let me look. We need uh, one assembly controller, one platform, two IO units, and a laser. Um, I think we can make most of that, but let's see. Um, the IO units aren't too bad, but they require one circuit board each. The platform isn't too bad, but it requires plastic, so I need another rose because I don't have enough rose red for this because we also need an assembly laser, which requires rose red, and we only have one rose red. So I have to bone meal some grass to get that. Um, then we need uh, an assembly controller, which needs three printed circuit boards. That's terrible. Um, so I think all told we need three, four... Five, six, seven, because I need two IO units. So I need seven printed circuit boards total. Um, so far, I think we've got four of them. Um, so that's pretty painful. That's bad news right there. Um, I have to drop these in etching acid. Yeah. So do we want to do this now? I did have a somewhat of an idea on how to automate this, but into the etching acid process, but it's, it's hokey. The other option that I could work on for today, Pahamar, is um, automating farms. Because, and that's actually a quest we can also hand in. One of the um, technological revolution quests is gr uh, green things. We've already made a harvester. I just need to make a planter and a fruit picker. And believe it or not, we already have some machine frames. So that shouldn't be hard to make. So maybe I'll start that, and then I'll move on to the things we need to do for this part of it. Um, it's going to require some uh, cooking stuff up in the pressure chamber, but I mean, I, I was going to ask, that. Gonna ask, what do we have in terms of power gen right now? Uh, right now, the only thing we really have is over here. We've got this reactant dynamo, which I have to refill with gunpowder. Well, uh, Luckily, we, we get gunpowder both from our... Um, processing of dust and from our mob farm, which by the way, I automated. Cool. You want to see it? Nothing too fancy. The reason I was going to ask you about the power gen stuff is uh, it would be really nice to get a pulverizer at a redstone furnace because then we could uh, automate the breaking down of cobble into the things we need to get the emeralds and stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. That might not be a terrible idea. Um, so I've got some barrels here and I've got a output chest at the end. Hey, we just got carrots and potatoes, I want you to know. 
Woot. Thanks to our mob farm. That's serious woot. We also got some mushrooms. See? So they're down there. They're getting, you know, eaten up and destroyed. And I mean, in theory, presuming there's not some kind of backlog or block. Because they should be dying, but they're not. Um, you're out of energy. How can you possibly be out of energy? Uh, what's this thing set to do? He's set to output below. He should really not be out of energy. That's... You know what? I'm thinking there might have been an explosion. But I thought these conduits were pretty resistant to explosions. And we have explosion damage off, so... That doesn't explain anything. Uh, watch your feet, Pahamar. I fell, yeah. Yeah, don't fall. Well, something happened, so... I'm going on a quest. Uh-oh, not again. Well, one of the well, first of the quests first... in basic survival, what has gone right. before, there's something buried okay. in the dust at this certain coordinate. Okay. So I've set myself up a waypoint. I have a hang glider. You have fun with that, sir. I ain't going anywhere near what you're doing. Actually, wait. I Actually, want more wait, food. No. I want more water. Yeah, I made I made a bit more food off camera too. Um, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do the quest for fruit picker and planter. How's that sound? Sounds like a plan, dire man. Um, man. thank you. I need a flower pot, which needs bricks, so that's not too bad. Piston, copper, and redstone reception coils. I can handle all of that pretty easily. Except Pahamar rearranged our things, and now I don't know where anything is. Pahamar. All the valuable things are inside of the uh, gold chest. Oh, the gold chest that's not with any other chests. Dude, you were doing your thing. I was letting you do your thing. I can see that. I appreciate it, but also, why? Because I'm just that good of a friend. You are a pretty good friend, I won't lie. So I also need plastics, which I thought were in here somewhere. Planter would be awesome too. I know that's that's on your list. It's definitely on my list, and I've come up with a really good way to automate um, some of the things that I want to automate. Ah, oh, there they are. Yeah, there's something I really want to automate, um, and that I will show you guys. There's a bit of a problem with the planter, and I've come up with a really cool solution to it, or at least I feel like it's a really cool solution. I don't know if it really is or not, but. I don't think we have any bricks otherwise. I guess the efficient thing to do would be to get eight of these, so I don't waste charcoal. All right, take two on the adventure. Yeah, you sure? Yep. I gotta say though, by the way, we have a lot of food. I'm really proud of uh, the food process that we've had in place so far. We do have a lot of food, and I'm very proud of our walled city, so that now we don't have to yeah. worry. Because now when you want to build your ridiculously huge-sized uh, farms and stuff, boom, there's your room. Right. There's your room. Ready to go. Oh, let's All right, so city. this, and then I should be for a planter. All right, I need some copper. I like how you are like the automator and I'm the explorer. I know, that's kind of cool. What's this? There's like a side road. Oh. In, in I, think have, I, think have, I think we have other cities near us. Really? That's what it seems like. Interesting. Alright, I've made it to the waypoint. Well, that was quick. Hang gliders, dude. Seriously, you sure it's not like about to be night or anything, right? Uh, we're about uh, noon. We're about noon. Okay. I worry about you. That's all, Pahamar. You're you're a good friend. I aim to be. Let's make sure I'm at the right. Oh, I've visited the data tablet. Now I need to. You've managed to rescue your data tablet from the dust. It is pretty banged up, though. Take it back to the shuttle and see if you can pull off of it. There's a shuttle apparently not that far away. Hooray! I'm claiming the reward on growing green things. 
but you can do it when you get back because I don't want you to be distracted terribly. All right, so I've got a fruit picker. I've got a planter. Uh, I guess I should go plant a farm. I, I've kind of wanted to organize our farms a little bit because right now they're a little haphazard um, and I absolutely want them to be a little bit better. So, yeah. Oh, there's just that. Unlocked lore. Oh, cool. Have I want to see the, it. Uh, the, like, I, I can't read it right now because I'm running back to the city, but. Oh, like my. Four, That's a lot of more entries. More entries. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to want to read that in a minute. Um, let's see, I just want to put some stuff away and get ready to... It's probably safer for me to go to the hang glider tower in the city than to run half a kilometer through the desert. True. Assuming nothing in the city tries to kill me. If things get terribly hairy, I can always sleep. And I can uh, log out like a coward. Yes. Uh, by the way, I did automate the oak barrel to dirt thing, so that's why I have a stack and a half plus of dirt. You needed a flower pot? I did. I got you one. Oh, well, I already got one. I already made it. And stuff. Yeah, it's up your yeah, it's up your no. All right, I no. think no. out here might not be a terribly bad spot. Um, I can just kind of start this farm, and then we'll kind of go from there, I think. I want it to be of decent size. How are you almost back to the base? Not really, no. No. Can mobs spawn on uh, farmland? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so either. But I could probably plant a nook because it doesn't need to be on a block, so I should be all right. I get so greedy in the city. You're risky. All right, that's enough for the beginnings of a little farmland thing. I do it with a reason, because I can get up a little bit higher and then fly over to the tower. Or right. At least that's right. what I like to say. That's your reasoning for the shenanigans you're pulling right now. Yeah, because right now we're in a thunderstorm. Right. Which means that mobs are spawning. Oh, that's not good. That's actually pretty bad. Uh, let's see, there's my other candle pack. Flux and juice. All right, so that's that. Let's get a couple buckets of water. And let's get to planting some crops. So, what's the range on water, by the way? Oh, for crops, I think five. Yeah. Five, four, five. Four, Is it five? Because I think this map has it set that you can't have crops like being silly. Mm -hmm. Do we need another high oven control? Uh, I don't think so. But if you want to grab it, you're more than welcome to. All right, coming back. All right, coming back. We should get some elevators for this thing. Yeah. I'm a little disappointed, I'll, I'll be honest. I was hoping for a little bit more than just lore. Like, I was hoping for a cool chest buried in the sand somewhere. Yeah. And who knows, maybe there's something like that later on. Right now, I'll eat my hamburger. Good plan. And I'll fly back. Sweet. So it's five, you said? Four or five. I think, okay. I think it's four, actually. Oh, I can't even till the sand. Uh, it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's cool. Because I can't even till the dirt where um, it's not damp. So that's kind of neat. So this line... 
One, two, three, four. I'll make it right here. Man, it's pretty cool flying back and seeing our base slowly come in. Yeah. All right, not too shabby so far. Boop. There's Boop. Pahamar. Hello. All right, I do need some more um, dirt stuff. Dirt. Yeah, dirt and such. Our, not our, too much, uh, but harvesters run out of power. Yeah. Well, there's nothing hooked up to it. I'll get something for it. I'll get the wood out, because otherwise we'll get mobs spawning up there. Can't be irresponsible. No. Uh, so I need to uh, tidy up this. Do you want to come back in a minute here when we're ready to uh, do the next part of this farm? I think that's fair. Okay. We will be back in just a minute, guys. All right, Pahamar. I am back, and I'm ready to do some stuff here. What kind of stuff? Uh, automated farming stuff. Nice. I thought you might approve. I'm cleaning up our inventory. Cool. I'm gonna eat something too, speaking of, uh, food. <laughs> I'm gonna have a baked ham and an apple pie. That sounds like a lovely meal. I love how you're eating it and the game's just like, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, the game's pretty accurate about how I eat too. It's like, yeah, we know what Direwolf does. We got this. All right, so we're going to want some power. So I'm going to need some leadstone energy conduits for sure. I'm probably going to need a few more of those. And there's my planter. And we're also going to want the harvester. And I think I'm going to want an upgrade. I think I want the one that's probably silver. That's a radius increase of six. I think that's the one I'm going to want. So I'm going to want silver, plastic, gold, and redstone. One, two um silver we should have plenty of that wow i've got so much junk in my inventory right now because i'm like in the middle of moving all this old nugget that will tell me if i've got this right or not we'll find out in a minute so planter upgrade silver and i want some leadstone energy so we'll definitely want some leadstone energy conduits, which will be red, stone, lead. So much stuff. I know. All right, I'm heading out. Wish me luck. Um, have luck. Thank you. Have luck, we'll travel. Indeed. I like how I said it like I was Russian. Have luck. All right, so There's if we check with this race. thing, what? And a skeleton's riding it. That's terrifying. Don't let that happen. Well, they're dead now. Sweet. All right, so that's one larger than I had planned for, really, but that's okay. Actually, that's perfect what I planned for. Um, that's actually semi. Yeah, it's perfectly what I planned for. Nice. I know what I'm doing a little bit. All right, so I'm thinking tomatoes aren't terribly important for us, but you know what the most important thing is? Soybeans. So I'm going to have soybeans, like, right there. Um, so that'll be red, yellow, green. That'll be along this row. Um, I probably want, like, a cantaloupe seed. Sunflowers, I don't know how important those are. I wouldn't Would mind a want couple of potatoes or a carrot. Or a carrot? Uh, we could do potatoes and carrots if you want. Just get some. Just get some. All right, just hook me up with one of each for now. Bahamar's like, nope. You wait. Yes, sir. There you go. Okay. Until it consumes stack is off. 
So the reason I want mostly soybeans is because they're just so versatile. You can do a lot with them. Um, they're like pretty much the superfood of the mod pack. So that's exciting news. Um, so we're going to want that. I'm going to need, you know what? I do kind of want trees here. So I might want to snag saplings and do them as well. Probably, I, I, I really should do trees here because we only have one harvester for now and you know what we need, we need things. So I guess that'll replace one of my soybeans. I'll double up on soybeans and I'll also double up on rice because I can use that to get bread and that's terribly useful. Um, cantaloupes and grapes aren't that useful to be honest with you, but I'm going to stick with them for now. And then when we have like a lot or we're not worried about food so much, I'll switch them out for something else. That's like a plan. I Sounds think like so. Sounds like a plan. Okay. So we've got that in place. So let's get some soybeans, some rice, sunflowers. I didn't do. I'm not going to worry about sunflowers. That gets us oil. Do we really care that much about oil? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so either. So rice, soybean, uh, saplings, carrots and potatoes, cantaloupes and grapes. That should be everything we want. Uh, so that's cool beans. For the most part. Uh, now the only downside. Oh, that's okay. No, I'm cool. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nice, nice, nice. Man, you talk to yourself. I do. I know. You know what? It's force a habit. It really is. Sure, sure. This is better. You know, collapsing these chests. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Drink. Okay, so this is part one of the plan. Part two is the cool part, by the way. How cool is it? It's pretty neat. Because I came up with a really good solution to a problem that I'm going to be presented with in a minute. Because, of course, I practiced ahead of time to make sure I was ready for this. We don't need this bone knife blade and bone crossbar anymore, do we? Probably not. Can you bring me an iron chest, by the way? Sure, why not? Thank you. That'll do there, so this guy can go here. Oh, and also, well, no, I'll make one for for us in a minute here. So if this works, ta-da, planting, hooray. Hooray, planting. Sweet, look, it's going. It's working. And you just totally ran by me with the chest. Uh, put it behind the harvester. I needed another silver upgrade, and I figured I'd just make it myself real quick. What the what? Did you plant all these carrots? Okay, good. Yep. You probably did. Yep. Okay, that's fine then. All right, so silver upgrade, and that should cover this area. Sweet. That's what I wanted to see. All right, so what we should wind up with here, and I might actually wind up swapping these things. Maybe I want, yeah, you know what I probably want? Why don't you oak saplings you there and those there. I'm switching our oak saplings and our... Actually, I probably don't want oak saplings right next to the wall. So I'll probably have oak saplings in the purple slot. And you can be rice. That'll do. All right, I definitely need more dirt for this. Sweet. 
All right, now I just need some bone meal and I should be able to demonstrate what my problem is and then I'm gonna show you guys my solution to my problem. Guess what we're gonna start using in a minute, Mr. Pahamar? Magic. Steve's factory manager. Oh, that's in this? Yeah. And it's gonna solve all my problems. Actually, all of them? I'm gonna use it for several things here, as a matter of fact. So let's see. If I grow cantaloupe, which doesn't seem to want to be growing. So cantaloupe, you'll notice that um when it's harvested by the harvester, um, let's see here what happens to it. We should see things. So potatoes go in there, that's good. What do soybeans do? Just waiting for this thing to actually harvest. Some of these plants will get picked up, but others will not. And that's problematic for us a bit. But we're going to solve that. So I'm kind of waiting for this thing to run through and get everything. I'm going to set this to sheer leaves no for the minute, by the way. There we go. It's collecting things. So cantaloupes are good. But you'll notice that my soybeans are actually getting broken, um, which is kind of not what I want to. Well, I do need that. That's, that's good. But they're turning them directly into soybeans, and it's not getting me any seeds. Luckily, it does get me, I think it's three or four soybeans a pop. So that's good news. But I need to auto craft soybean into soybean seed. So it's Steve's factory manager time. Uh, do you want to come back here in a minute, Mr. Pahamar? Sure. All right, guys, so like I promised, it's time to do Steve's factory manager, but holy cow, I didn't even realize we're close to wrapping up here, Pahamar. Oh, no. I know. I'm disappointed as well, because I was all excited. I was in the middle of this thing, and I'm like, we're going to make it. It's going to be awesome. And now all of a sudden, it's like, oh, we got to go. Um, so what I'm making first is the stuff that we need, and I'm going to put the components together, and then we'll come back next episode and actually see how this is going to work out. Luckily, it's a really simple process within Steve's Factory Manager. Steve's Factory Manager can do a lot of cool stuff, um, but this should be really easy to do, if I'm correct about this. Why so I, I thought I had... It should just require iron. Oh, it looks like it oh, needed pressure plates. Yeah, no, uh, excavators, the, the tier two things need, uh, oh, nice, need um, metals. Okay, so let's see here. Basically, what I should be able to do, if I know what I'm doing with this thing, which, by the way, I'm not by far an expert just yet, but I should be able to tap this dude right there, and then... All right, so think of these. I know they're. It's awesome, isn't it? So these inventory cables are kind of like pipes, and it's allowing the inventory manager to connect to the planter as well as the chest here. So if we check, um, we should see an iron chest and a planter. Perfect. So I'm not going to do much else with this for now, but next episode we'll come back and I'm going to basically automate it so that Steve's factory manager is responsible for not only turning these things into the appropriate seeds that we need them to be, but also keeping the planter uh, full of all the stuff that I wanted to have. Does that sound nice. like a cool plan, Pahimar? Steve's factory manager, isn't that the, is that the mod that VSWE made for Mod Jam? Mod Jam? I forget if it was a mod jam mod or not, but um, it's it's definitely like a neat mod. Indeed. Indeed. So, All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? One of these days, I'm probably gonna do a quest or build some cool automation tech. 
right now I'm like totally just your Soren. You are? I wouldn't call you my Soren. I wouldn't call you my Soren at all. Well, yeah. I'm actually like. Well, I was going to make an age joke, but I mean, Soren's pretty cool. He's not totally He's not cool. Totally cool. He's, He's no Pahamar. Cool. That is for certain. No, I wouldn't say that. You go. You guys are both cool in my book. Ah, give me a hug, buddy. Maybe later. For now, I'm making sure that this farmland stays farm. Well, farm. farmland. Yeah, pretty much. All right. So for now, I think it's time to wrap up, Mr. Palmar. That seems like a fair thing. Okay, so uh, the good news is that we have farmland, and it's somewhat automated. Uh, next episode, we'll automate it even more, and it's going to be very cool. And then what I might also get to next episode, if I can, Pahamar, I wouldn't mind auto-crafting some food for us, and I might be able to accomplish that. Oh, that would um, be, awesome. be awesome. Yeah, I'm also going to set up probably at some point the um, auto-picker, the, the, the picker from MFR, and that'll pick, like, um, all the different fruits off the trees. So, like, all those apples and stuff that we've got on trees back there that we have to manually harvest. That'll be automated too. Sounds good. I uh, I put a hey, uh, block above this sifter because I was getting tired of picking up stuff as I ran by. Oh, okay. That's fine. I worry not. Uh, let's see. I might have more dirt. Uh, I don't know if that's enough or not, but we'll find out. All right, guys. For now, Daryl20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time for uh, more fun things to be had. This might actually be the perfect amount of dirt. I want to see if it is before we wrap up. Oh, it's the exact right amount. Nice. All right, guys. Take it easy. See you guys. See you guys.